Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play a game called Dreamgate which is a roguelike deck build that comes out into early access on 20th of February. So let's begin. We're gonna start off with playing a warrior. There are also warlocks and dead knight, but we haven't unlocked those yet. A veteran who spent his whole life in battles who lives from battle to battle use war skill cards. We're gonna start this off. If you have any money, which we do not have, like a game money obviously, then you can get some permanent updates from your, for your hero. For example, you could increase your max HP here, or you could get plus one action point for campfire, or you could get open card overpower which allows you to choose that this turn if a card deals 1 damage, it deals 3 damage instead or draw a card. Now this is pretty common in this game, this kind of choose one where a lot of ca cards have like multi abilities and you can choose which one of them you want to go for, which I think is quite interesting. And Buckler, which are essentially a different type of cards that have like limited usage and after you use them they just get removed from your deck. They will not pollute your deck aside from this healing flask which is permanent so it cannot be exiled. So what happens if you use up all the HP is you get this sort of like an empty card that's polluting your deck until you can get to a campfire where you could fill it up again. So we're just gonna start and I'm gonna talk to you about the cards as we kind of start playing them. We've got 30 HP at the moment. There is no mana in the game, it's kind of similar to Fate Hunters in the sense that you can use all the cards that you have in your hand. We've got a slack enemy that has one attack and four HP and we've got a ghoul who regenerates the full HP if you don't manage to kill it. So right now we can only do maximum of six damage so we can kill. We also have this healing which like I said it gets used up so we don't want to waste it and backpack which is the choose one option. We can draw a random potion card, weapon card or regular card. Now you gotta watch out for the fact that if you for example pick a potion card and there is no potion card in your deck it will just get wasted. So you want to make sure that you click on something that you can get. So I'm gonna start off by killing this creature in the middle and let the other two hit me for one that's not too bad and then we're gonna use now we've got this long sword fatigue one deal five damage fatigues mean that you need to discard a card in order to play this and it's you have to do it if you this is the only card in your hand you cannot use it up so we're gonna start with this get rid of the dash and then we're gonna use my sword to kill this thing off now before i use my second sword we have leveled up so we can pick a new card we can pick Killer Instinct, deal 3 damage, put a weapon card from the discard point to your hand. Rampage gets activated if you have 15 HP or less. Killing Blow or Reserve, it means it stays in your hand and doesn't get discarded. Destroy a non-boss enemy. This is good, but I don't know if it's worth it. Return a non-legendary attack card from your discard point to, to your hand. I think we'll take Killer Instinct. Because the other card was good, but the one that draws it back but the disadvantage of that was like what if you have nothing in your discard pile right then it's like a waste of a card the killer instinct always gives you a damage now there was no loot so we're just gonna move towards the next encounter we've got these dire hounds all right so let's start hitting them up it's actually a lot of them which is not ideal because they hit pretty hard let's try to grab another weapon yeah we, we still have one left we can't get rid of that good level up though Dash, draw two cards and put a card from your hand on the top of the draw pile. Cleave, deal two damage to two random creatures or war cry. Fatigue and draw two cards. I think I'll go with the cleave. Two damage to two random creatures is not bad at all. And if we have less than 15 HP, it's gonna give us extra bonus. Spite Club, 1 to 3 damage. I'm gonna skip this one actually, because it's kind of like a sword. And sword is a really basic card, so we don't necessarily need too many of those. Each time you play a card, increase this creature's attack by 2. And it has a shield, so we gotta get rid of those first. So we'll start with a cleave. We destroyed this thing's shield. I believe... Yeah, this one is still yellow because it still has a shield. This one does not. Now we could use Killer Instinct, however. So let's first kill this guy. And now normally I'd like to use Killer Instinct to finish off this one, but then this is going to hit us really hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off with Killer Instinct on this to get rid of the shield and then use the long sword by getting rid of the buckle to finish off this one. And this is only going to hit us for two. You do got to watch out for your HP because the boss fights, there's some boss fights that are fairly easy and some boss fights that are really hard. So if you get the hard one, it can be difficult if you don't uh, do that. Let's do a hard encounter. Strong enemies, but good loot and more experience or an unknown get rid of any surprise. So let's start with the hard one. I just want to see. 
After this creature attacks, it runs away. Add a curse card on top of your draw pile. So what does run away mean? Does that mean that we should not be trying to kill it? But we do have to kill it, otherwise it's gonna hit us for 9 and I don't wanna do that. But it's gonna give us a curse, which is rough. So let's try to kill this. Get rid of the potion, we don't need that right now. It's gonna give us- There are stuff that allow you to get rid of curses. So you could do that, and we're gonna have to probably do that soon. Okay, but first we can pick a new card. Mighty Strike, deal 2 damage. If you have a weapon card in your hand, deal 4. Let's do that. And we're gonna try to grab a weapon card. So we're not gonna... Actually, we could hit it, but it's gonna run away. Gone. But it is, it is pretty pretty hard. Another longsword or this. After you play this card, return it to your hand instead of discarding. Retrace limited. Okay, so... This is a strange card because what, what, what limited does is that you cannot use another limited card on the same turn. Then you've got a retrace, which means that after you play this card, return it to your hand instead of discarding. Which means that you could use this infinitely, theoretically. Because limited does not say that you cannot... It says you cannot play other cards with limited, not that you cannot play this card again with limited. I think it means you can only use it once per turn. But then the retrace things would be kind of pointless. We're gonna grab it, because... Uh, we're also gonna grab the longsword. Because the longsword will help us with getting rid of these things like these curses. Or dash can also help us with that. Get rid of the curse. Oh, actually we don't need to do anything, so just get to the next encounter. Adjacent creatures get plus two attacks, so we want to get rid of this first. Let's start with the cleave. And we'll get rid of the curse. I'll use the longsword to finish off the thing in the middle so the creatures have less attack. And they only do 4 damage now. Which means we're gonna get down to 15 HP so we can activate the rampage ability. For example, this is now gonna give a weapon card in my hand. We'll take the fatigue. We'll use the fatigue to finish off this one, get rid of the curse. And then we'll use a dash. Get rid of backpack? Oh, I should have gotten rid of a sword and used the backpack to hopefully draw something better. Oh well. Never mind. Mighty strike. And two regular swords to finish it off. Undead, by the way, take double damage from spell cards. Uh, I'm not gonna grab the bomb, because it does kind of pollute your deck, so I don't want it. Instead, deal 10 damage, you lose HP equal to that creature's attack. Or stun a non-boss enemy. Or deal 7 damage to all enemies with fatigue to we're gonna take ground stomp. Really, really good. Let's do an unknown encounter. First the gods left this place and then people. That's all that remains of the one's great temple. We could either exile a card from our ignore. I'm gonna restore HP. I don't mind the curses because we seem to have a lot of things that allow us to do fatigues. So it's not that bad. We're gonna discard a sword because of the corrupted end, which at the start of your turn discard a card from your hand. This is town, so we have to fight this first. So I'm gonna start with the ground stomp and get rid of the long sword because I wouldn't be able to use it anyways. And of the sword and we'll have the backpack left. So backpack is gonna give me any random weapon. We'll use a sword to finish off... Oh, we actually can't finish it off because it's not strong enough. And this has taunt so we can't hit the other thing. It's alright though, we only get hit for three. Let's use... Get rid of longsword. We'll use mighty strike on one of these and a sword on the other. Alright. I'll want the bomb. Let's keep moving. We can upgrade our weapon for gold. We don't have gold so we're gonna take weak enemies and no loot instead. Let's start this off with Cleave. Get rid of this guy's shield, that's good. Killer Instinct, which is gonna give me a card back. I would like a Cleave back. We'll do Cleave, and we finish them both off. No loot, but we did get, get experience, at least. Let's do another unknown encounter. Stranger, you met a suspicious stranger offered to share knowledge for a fee. Gain 10 XP and lose 3 HP, gain 10 XP. Let's try to exile a random card from our deck. 
We got rid of a curse, that's pretty nice. Hmm. Dash, Furious Charge, or Killer Instinct. Furious Charge is rough because 12 damage is great, but losing 3 HP is a bit, it's a lot. I think I'll take Dash. Instead, Dash essentially means just like I can draw some other card and prep for next a turn potentially. What is this? You have to get rid of the or something we get rid of curse each time you play a card increase this creature's attack by two. Ooh, i really dislike these shadow onions they're really bad so we'll start with cleave hopefully get rid of some of their shield then we'll use killer instinct we've got rampage so we're gonna get a card back we'll take the cleave again hopefully it will kill off this other one yes it it didn't it didn't which means we're gonna get hit for eight there's nothing I can do because this is hit first, so shield would be pointless. Oh no. Cleave really messed us around. This one. Gonna have to heal up next turn. I'm gonna take the throwing axe. Whenever this creature takes damage, deal one damage to hero. Well, we could insta kill it with the ground stomp, but let me first see if I could draw a potion card to heal myself up. I'd really like that. I'm just gonna use a ground stomp to kill everybody. Yeah. Good. Ooh, usage one, gain 10 experience. Let's grab that. Reduce attack to all creatures by one. This is like for the rest of the combat. That's actually quite good. Destroy a non-boss enemy. I really like the cleave. I don't know if we should grab more cards. I'll, I'll take the killing blow because it could be useful. Yeah, like like on these guys, for example. Let's start with a regular sword and this on this thing. Then we'll do a throwing axe on this guy and a killer instinct to finish it off. We can get... I'll get war cry because that's... Equal. Essentially substituting this card and one other for something else. So it's kind of the same as dash. No, we don't need that. We'll just end the turn. It's fine. We'll do a cleave. And a sword. No loot. A guy with a shield and undead regeneration. We'll start with ground stomp that will just kill everybody. Groundstorm is really amazing. Oh, actually, this guy had a shield, so I didn't finish him off. So let's use Dash then to get the long sword, which is it's gonna allow us to get rid of the sword and finish him off. Perfect. I don't want this. Let's try strong enemies. This might be risky, but we do have a lot of healing still left. Whoa. Each time you play a card, this creature loses 5 HP. So we'll start with the torch, lower its attack. Then we'll go with Cleave, Mighty Strike, Killer Instinct. It will hit me for three, I'm gonna let it. All right, now we're gonna start the Warlock's Wand. So if I play this, can I play it again? No, okay, so you can only use it once per turn. That's fine. I'm not upset about it, it's okay. It's still a very good card. Do we want any of these? Spells are good against undead because they do double damage, so I'll take the spell, but otherwise I'm just gonna leave the rest. Let's take a draw a random weapon card. I'm gonna do it's it's a good idea to use anything that we can here. So the Warlock Wand, essentially it means that you do five damage, and then you can use things like fatigues like fatigue cards to get rid of it, because that's gonna help because it doesn't get disappeared after you, so that's useful. But it's not as useful as I kind of assumed it would be. We could just use this killing blow on it. We probably should use the killing blow on it. But do I wanna? We can kill it fairly soon. Considering we do plus five for everything we use. It's gonna be dead next turn, let's not. We're gonna heal up instead if we can. Mighty Strike, Sword, Longsword on the Curse, and it's just dead. 
Deal 7 damage to a one less card next turn. Or let's take both of these. Courage is also quite good. Oh, this is a boss fight. After this creature attacks, it skips next attack. So it's sleeping now. It hits really hard. So I'm gonna heal up first. Then we'll start with Longsword on the shield, because we don't need the shield right now. I'm gonna use a sword. Killer Instinct. Killing Blow is pointless because it doesn't do anything. Warlock's Wand first. Then Cleave. Light Lands. We, we've got the Ground Stump, so let's try to... Which is an attack but not a weapon. So let's try to draw a card. Wait. Let's use Ground Stomp by getting rid of Warlock Stomp and Killing Ball. And then we we'll use Dash to get a regular sword, I guess. We'll get hit for 10, though. But it's gonna be asleep now. Not too bad. We always get the shield when we don't need it. Give me the shield on the turn that it's hitting me, not on the following one. Alright. Ground Stomp? On Curse and Killing Blow. Go with the Mighty Strike, Two-Handed Sword, and a Regular Sword. It's gonna hit me again. I'm gonna say, if you get the shield again. Use the Light Lands. We're gonna use Killer Instinct, because that's gonna give me an extra weapon. I think I'll grab... I wish we had two Killer Instinct, because then he could just keep doing this in a very... Nice combo. Let's do a cleave. And I'm gonna heal myself up. Alright, let's start with the um, dash. And we'll get it over the torch. Do sword. Long sword, get rid of backpack. And long sword number two and get rid of sword. And we killed a boss creature. Restore 7 HP, add a toxin on top of the draw pile. At the end of your turn, turn deal 1 damage to so essentially heals for 6. Or the ram, deal 1 damage to all enemies, or destroy all stunned non-boss enemies, and then stun all non-boss enemies with 3 or less attack. So if you get to get 2 of these, it's insane. But I'm gonna take both of these, that's, that's really good. Ooh. Draw 2 random weapon cards, lose 1 HP. Draw 2 random attack cards, lose 1 HP. Until your next turn, reduce the attack of all enemies by one. Hmm. Let's hide it for a second and check my best cards are two-handed sword, cleave. Those are both weapons. So this is, by the way, what the empty potion thing looks like. A uh, ground stomp is an attack. Might strike is also an attack. So would we rather take? I mean, we would have to take the, the weapon card because we just don't have enough attacks and then wasting it. But I think I think we might just go with the net. But we do have that other thing that's also limited. Then maybe let's not take any of these even. No, I'll take the attack. Choose a card. Your action points, we have seven action points and we can use them to replenish health and improve your hero. So first of all, a restore to full HP seems pretty good, but also I would like a passive skill. That seems interesting. What else do we've got? Restore uh, your healing flask, absolutely, because it gives us three times healing, so that's definitely a good decision. We still got six action points left. Banishment would be good on the curses, but the thing is, there are cards that allow you to get rid of automatically of all cards in your deck so i don't think this is worth it instead i'm thinking I'm let's take a passive skill damage from all weapon cards is increased by one damage from all spare cards is decreased by one this is fine because we don't have many spells or every time an attack card deals damage you get a token when you get 10 tokens they're removed and you deal seven damage to a random enemy so every 10 attack cards we do 7 damage. We don't have enough attack cards as we checked. Each time you exile a card you restore HP. That's really good but I think we're just gonna grab the gladiator. And I really like those so I think we'll do that again. 
At the beginning of your turn, draw three additional cards. You can't play more than six cards per turn. Whenever you play a potion card, draw a card. Upon pickup, add two deep wound cards to your deck. Wound, wound curse and poison cards are not added to your deck anymore. Deep ones means you can't play more than five cards per turn. Poison cards. Well, this demon acknowledge seems really interesting to me because if you have a lot of cards, it's not going to be that much of a problem to use fatigue cards. Which I think I think we'll take the demonic knowledge. I like it. Because we have a lot of things that do fatigue, so yeah. And you can see our traits here on the left. Great lady with demonic knowledge. That's a pretty interesting combo. All other creatures get plus two HP. Adjacent creature get additional attack. So if we kill this, these other monsters do no attack. So we're gonna start this off with Longsword on the big guy in the middle. And we'll get rid of healing. We have to get rid of one more card, so we'll get rid of the Mushroom Potion as well. Then we're gonna use a sword to kill off the thing in the middle. It's gonna force us to get rid of a sword. Yeah, if, because if, if it dies, it ha we have to discard a card from hand. There are two random attack cards, or... I think we just use the ram to, to stun them both. I mean, it doesn't matter because they don't do any damage, but we're gonna hit them up now. I don't want to use the Brawler because I don't need to. I don't need to bother with it. Alright, we're gonna start this off with Fatigue on you. Get rid of a Curse. Then we use a Sword to finish off this guy. Get rid of the Torch. Throwing Axe to finish off the other one. We don't. We probably don't need that many dashes card now that we have the Demonic Knowledge. They seem a bit like a waste now. But I still really like it. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to hero or shield taunt. Ooh, this means we have to kill this thing first, unless you have ground stomp, in which case you can just say, I don't care. I do not care. Well, we're getting rid of a buckler and sword. We can insta kill this guy, so he's not gonna hit us. This thing, we didn't hit it because of the shield, but that's okay. Let's start with a sword. Then a Light Lance. Then a Warlock's Wand. And we'll finish it off with Killer Instinct and a Throwing Axe. Dead. There are three cards, there are one less card next one. We don't need that. The dem Demonic Knowledge, I have enough cards. Like, not a big deal. All other creatures get extra XP, and these guys are undead, so they get twice the damage from spells. We'll start with the Cleave, I guess. Follow it up with a Mighty Strike on these guys, because these guys hit us, these guys do not. Two-handed sword finishes off that thing. Then a long sword would get rid gets rid of my buckler. Throwing axe. Sword. But let them hit us for two, it's not a big deal. Uh we'll use ground stone to just finish off everyone, I believe. You have to discard cards because they're dying, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it was a trophy, I didn't realize that. Deal 5 damage, Warhammer. So this is the same as the, the thing we already have that also does 5 damage and also is limited. Do we want to have two of these? Last breath, exile a random card from him. Oh man. But it's a random card from my hand. So... We're gonna have to use up cards... To ensure that what we have left... Is something I like a curse, is something I wouldn't mind... Them taking away from me. So we're gonna keep the curse in our hand in this case. We'll get rid of this backpack, cause I like it. Then... We're gonna use dash, get rid of the torch, we'll use light lance on this, sword on that, one more dash, which is gonna, uh, we're gonna take warlock's one next turn, so now I'm gonna use up the torch, 
seriously? I was just about to set up for a killer instinct and I can't use any more card systems. So we're gonna get hit for eight now. Oh, and we set it up so well. Why didn't it hit us? Oh, because they were all stomped. Good. We were like a ground stomp here. They're gonna stun them all again. So this is one card. We've got five left. We're gonna hit this for five. And hit this. I'm not gonna kill anything because I'm afraid that I would lose the Warlock's Wand. And they're all stunned, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Alright, now we can just use the Ground Stomp, which will make me lose four cards in my hand. So we want to make sure that what we have left is ideally stuff we don't care about. Oof. Alright. So... Well, we'll start with the Warhammer. Well, let's start with the Dash. We want to get rid of some of the really good cards, so we're gonna get rid... Maybe I'll get rid of the Ground Storm and just use regular attacks, because I don't mind losing those that much. We're also gonna use the Mushroom... thing. We'll use the Warhammer... I guess. Hope we get rid of a sword. No, we lost something really good. Oh, we lost the mm, fatigue sword. And next, I guess we'll use the mighty strike. We care the most about that. Oh, we keep losing good stuff. Get rid of a sword. Yeah, thank you. And if I use the other sword, I'm gonna lose the torch. Ooh, D5 damage to all, including hero. But if I have Rampage, it's gonna heal me back up, so that's actually quite good. Let's let's use it. I guess we'll lose the torch, it doesn't matter. We'll take... Take nothing, actually. And I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You can click on the right top to watch... Fate Hunters, which is a similar roguelike deck builder, or you can click on the right button to watch Deck of Ashes. I'll see you there. Bye bye!